What's up, fuckers? Been quite some time since I did a video before the game, but seeing as Miami is playing in their first ACC championship game Saturday night, it feels very necessary. The Miami Hurricanes playoff starts Saturday night. Flat out. Win, you move to the next one. And honestly, this kind of feels like it should be like the, the battle of the white boy receivers, seeing as you know, Braxton Berrios for Miami. Uh, basically a homecoming for him. And I think he's going to play very well Saturday night, playing you know close to his family. He's going to want to show out. And then Hunter Renfro for the Clemson Tigers, who had his moment in the sun in the last year's national championship. This is going to be a battle, flat out. Uh, Clemson is the defending champion. Very talented team. This is basically a home game for them. And there's going to be very few people who pick Miami to win this game. We don't need to play a damn near flawless game because Clemson is beatable. But we cannot afford to start slow. Cannot. We must come out early and set the tone, play with passion and energy from the get-go. As far as Clemson, granted, I've not seen an extended amount of them, to be honest. So, so basically, I'm just going to talk about what I've seen. Uh, Kelly Bryant, there, you know, there's some people who compare him to Brandon Wimbush. Uh, I think he's a better passer than Wimbush is. They're about on the same level when it comes to running, but he's a talented kid. I think their whole offense mainly relies on Ray Ray McLeod and Travis Atien, two very talented players. Other than that, nothing stands out like it's been the past couple years. But uh, if Miami wants to win this game, it's got to go from the defense containing the running game and forcing them to beat us in the air. Easier said than done, honestly. But uh, I love our defensive line chances and just the defense in general of, of containing that and forcing them to get out of their comfort zone. We've got to, got to get to Kelly Bryant and bring him down. A couple turnovers would be great, but that's going to be the biggest thing in this game. We, I, 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 Bryant's going to make some throws. That I know. But can he win just solely on that? That's the question. Uh, when you flip at the other side of the ball, defensive line, talented. Overall, their defense is very, very good. Uh, it's going to be one of the Toughest test for this offense, especially Malik. With Brett Venables being their defensive coordinator, he is going to stunt. He is going to blitz. He's going to try to confuse Malik. And Malik has to be ready for that. So does the offensive line. This this will be an excellent challenge for the offensive line. There are some people that will argue, hey, we played Florida State. They're probably better. Or Virginia Tech. There's a lot on the line now. This is a totally different monster than what we've been through so far. Because not only is this an ACC title on the line, this is getting into the playoff and playing for a national title. And Clemson's been here before. They've got that experience on their side. But we've shown up in big-time games big time. So we'll see what happens there. But going back to offense, uh, Malik's got to get comfortable early. He, we cannot afford these hot, cold streaks. He needs to play the game of his life Saturday night. And I'm hoping Rick will put out an offensive game plan. He'll throw everything we've got out. He needs to use every single play in the playbook to try to, try to confuse his Clemson defense. Um, quick passes, obviously, I think it's going to be very important. You, you got to get him comfortable early, bottom line. And this offensive line has got to deliver. Homer, we, we have to establish a running game, whether it's with Homer, Homer and Dallas together, line DJ up at the Wildcat, whatever it takes, we need to do. And I think in some places there we need to play hurry up to not give the Clemson defense a chance to rotate out because it personally it doesn't look like their defensive line is very deep. Like if we, if we can play fast, we can maybe tire them out, we'll see. But um, everything's in front of us. Everything. If if we win this game Saturday night, we are a year ahead of schedule. I think I think a lot of Canes fans will agree with that. But um, 
it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I, I believe our boys will rise to the occasion. Uh, I think this is the game that Amon Richards really shows why he is so great. You know, for those of you who have been paying attention to Barry Jackson, he's been very vocal this week. Like he, he's, I expect him to do very well. Uh, her special teams go and look, Clemson, uh, kind of us and Clemson are kind of, eh. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me if Jeff Thomas takes can try to try and take one to the house, or at least try and give us a really good field position. But um, we got to play mistake-free football. We cannot turn the ball over. Cannot. Got to hit him in the mouth early and keep him there. Because there's enough talent on both sides of the ball for Clemson to keep them right in this. So that's really all I got. There's basically a lot of things you're going to hear from a lot of ESPN people and yada yada. But um, I'm ready for this game Saturday. It's, it's our time, guys, man. It's our time. So with that said, go Canes, all about the U. And uh, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Win the whole fucking thing.